Hey, what's up, YouTube? So, I just woke up. Uh, as always. <laughs> so, um, I got a message from this follower on SoundCloud. And he asked me how to do the, the, the samples or something. I don't know. He says, uh, I use SoundForge because I can get the chops in a sample. And I can make a good time stretching and the graphics are better than Edison you can see the you can you can measure the the, the sample and count the bars and, and stuff yeah so I'm gonna make a beat from scratch just to show you you can do pretty much whatever in Edison so uh. I loaded this up. Hey, up. Hey, up, big boy, wake up. He came on me, yeah. That's it right there. <laughs> Enough bullshitting. I'm gonna start over this. Uh, first of all, when I'm making a, a sample, I I search for uh, patterns on the sample. I don't know if if it makes much sense, but if you try to listen to this. You can pretty much uh, count the bars, like when you note repeating, you you get a you get a note repeat. <laughs> Fuck am I saying? So if you if you if you listen closely, you get the tum 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 tum. Just listen. So from that you can get the uh, your slices set up first. You can you can make a two bar slice or a four bar slice. Uh, whatever whatever you feel comfortable with. I'm just you can you can do this any other way, but I do it like this. So if you can see I got one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, which is actually is one bar. I'm chopping this bar by bar so then I can delete some and make two or four bars out of it. Um. It all depends on how you make the the sample. First thing you gotta you gotta make sure is you get your loop right. I'm gonna turn off the camera. I'm gonna cut this and turn it back on when I'm done. So nothing changed. I got just the the sample set up. I just chopped it. You can let me get a let me get a zoom in. So I got this. So the only thing you gotta make sure is your chops get in and go out the way you want it. I got them like this. I just push the arrow and I play whatever I want. 
See, like I, like I told you, it's like not repeating. You just go, oh, sorry, it's gonna look fucked as hell. You, it's like just not repeating, you just go with the flow. <laughs> Don't know what the hell that means even. So you just make sh you just make sure your samples are even. So this way you can play in whatever way you want. So I got I got the, the sample. So there you got gotcha. you got gotcha your beat ready. I mean you can I don't if you can see I don't dump all the, the samples at once. You can just make sure this is unlit. This is a what the fuck is that? KB input. So when you touch uh, it you can use it you can use it as so you got your beat ready you can also make regions which I can make another video about it actually I don't need to make another video about it if the camera doesn't turn off mm, if you can see you got everything on a keyboard on the piano roll, I mean. So you can play with this all you want. not well quantized it's the thing about Akai and Fruity Loops I mean this keyboard has no freaking good response Let's call that a beat for now, okay? Um, let me load up machine on Fruity Loops, yeah. So, there you go. 
This is how I make a beat. Dig. I'm just gonna go, uh, which day is it? Uh, October 12th, Uncle Tom. And there you go. Just freaking save the file. So about the regions, I got a beat to show you uh, real quick before this motherfucker turns off. Uh, let it load, let it load, let it load. about the, the the regions you can play with it as you wish so let me show you the sample sample from the Brazilian artist Gilberto Gil o amor daqui de casa vida que tem sala e quarto quem não coube que se Yeah, that's the title. So if you can see, let me focus, 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 focus. So this is a marker. This is a marker, it's looping. Uh, this is a marker. This is a region. Which was in the region? Uh, okay, let me check um, another one so I can explain to you what a region means if you don't know what I'm talking about. A region, my friends, is like when you make a marker, the marker ends where the where the other one starts. You see? That's but a region ends wherever you want it to end. You see, I got, uh, I got region, 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 marker. No, this is a region. Because you can see I got, where's the mouse? I got the marker, this one starting over here. It should end over here, but it didn't. It ends over here because I want it to. This one ends over there. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just mess around with it which is the same thing I did and you figure it out okay so the fuck did I do the fuck did I do the fuck did I did this I just found this break so the sample I just messed around with it regions you can make it seem or make it sound seamlessly like you made it yourself see if you get all my chops here in one take you 
Yo C. What the fuck? Uh, where is it? It's over there. It all depends on how you chop, how you make the loops and set up the regions and markers and uh, yeah, just gotta mess around with it. Lysex, uh, let me link this to a control. Is it, is it already linked? Oh, it's already linked. Oh, it's already linked. You can mess around with the pitch, and it's pretty fun actually. <laughs> As I said, you just gotta mess around with it, don't be afraid to try new stuff and uh, it's pretty much that basically. So Billy Blaze from Billy Blaze Productions, have a nice day, bye.